Hello there. Hello there, Alex. How's it going? It's going great. How are you going? <laughs> I'm good. Uh, yeah, so if you want to switch gears a little bit, talk about some uh, some Vidya and some uh, politics stuff. Oh, yeah. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> uh, well, uh, we're p about to put out a uh, pretty big study through uh, Space Commune, which is a, I don't know if your fans uh, remember, uh, we did a, a listicle um, about a month ago about uh, you know 15 uh, Twitch people or YouTube game people who are moving the conversation to the left. Oh, yeah, and, and my uh, fan base got super ass pain because you guys didn't have me. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have you. Also, Jim Sterling probably should be on the list too, but I got I got a bunch of people right on there. Mm -hmm. Um so we're following that up, um, you know, uh, basically I wanted to find out, uh, I make a lot of assumptions about uh, the political views Any plans to play days with and, the new uh, release? What we have, um, you know, I have a marketing background, so uh, I looked up um, on Facebook using their advertising uh, API, um, the political views of about 80 different gaming sub communities. Yep. Wait, wait, real fast. I'm sorry. Before we get into this, yeah. can you introduce yourself and what you do or whatever as much as you're comfortable with just so people know you're sorry? Yeah, sure. So my name is Alex Panagiotopoulos and I, uh, I started a leftist uh, media thing called Space Commune uh, with my partner. Um, so we have, uh, you know, we've been running like a local marketing company here in upstate New York for a few years and uh, we just kind of got fed up with uh I don't know, capitalism. So, uh, you know, we worked on a bunch of political campaigns and stuff. And, um, you know, we just we weren't, wasn't really scratching our itch to, to, you know, move people to the left. So we started this project. Um, you know, we put out a few blog posts last month about video game stuff and uh, Medicare for all. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're DSA members, um, you know, so... Uh, we do some local organizing here, but we also wanted to start uh, engaging people kind of in that, um, that uh, I don't know, that, that space of, you know, nerdy stuff, video games, like younger people, um, you know, who maybe uh, have some have some leftist views or some liberal views, but they need to be radicalized a little more into actually doing something about it. So okay. that's, that's our goal this project. So anyway, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you uh, some of the data uh, in Discord. Um, we already did some graphics for it, and oh, you man. can uh, react to it. <laughs> before, I, um, before I, before I see this, or before I Happy start to look at it, Happy belated Stevie like, Nathan Senpai there's two, bonus meme. Play there's more two Starcraft. really fucking hard ways to do this. So when you ask, what? Well, there's really one hard way to do this. When you ask, well, there's two big, big questions. One is, what? Are, what is a gamer? When you ask, what are the political views of gamers? Defining mm -hmm. that term "gamer" is actually like ninety percent of the question. Because yeah. if you broaden this to people that occasionally pick up their phone and play mobile games, you're going to get a totally different answer than if you include only people that say play games on the PC. You're going to get a totally different answer than if you play like uh, ask people who only play games competitively, so like online Overwatch or League of Legends or whatever. Like these questions are so fucking hard to do. And then depend and then depending on which people you pull, like what communities, you know, is also going to give you like really different answers. This seems really difficult to do. Yeah, yeah, totally. And uh, I think it's kind of that uh, thing that you're talking about is kind of reflected in these. Okay. Because um, it starts with, uh, you know, what is a gamer? And uh, just to, I'll just give a little background first about, um, you know, how the, how this stuff gets generated. So uh, do you have a Facebook account? Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, I'm very so, aware of how, like, advertising and everything works on those platforms, Instagram and Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so basically, uh, you know, they have a list of like everything that you've ever engaged with on Facebook, ever interacted with, liked, mm -hmm. messaged about. And also they buy a shitload of data about everybody um, and kind of match it with their advertising platform. Mm -hmm. um, so what we found in looking at this um, and all, the other thing, too, is that Facebook um, assigns pretty much everybody uh, with a political affinity. And they have this um, the scale of five different things that they can assign you. Mm -hmm. um, they can say that you're very conservative, conservative, moderate, liberal, or very liberal. Mm -hmm. And um, so what we found was that in the United States, there's 182 million people um, that have a political affinity on Facebook. And 130 of those people have um, 
have been tagged on Facebook as gamers, you mm-hmm. know, people that are interested in video games in some way. Um, and that can mean so many different things. Yeah. So um, like, this is something where like immediately my biggest fear is I'm already seeing 55% female and 45% male. This feels mm-hmm. like the amount and the 130 million gamers. Um, it feels like this has been broadened significantly such that yeah. I would expect this to resemble the general population at this right. point. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, uh, so let me upload a couple more things for you here. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so basically at this at this very very broad level, you know, people that play games are indistinguishable from the general population. Um, then uh, another thing, so when you start to drill down into the video game communities, um, I, I looked up. You know, this was just one view, but I looked up about eighty different sub communities. So this includes like the audiences for the most popular games out there, some of the most popular genres of games. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you can do also is look at the most common things that those people like within the political subdivisions of these communities. Sure. Um, And now when you're using the word communities here, you're talking about Facebook groups, right? Facebook communities? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. What I mean by community, um, I'm using it kind of as as a shorthand for Mm -hmm. Uh, an affinity group. Gotcha. So, okay. I'm just the, making sure you're yeah. not talking about communities in a broader sense, like communities on Reddit or other. Oh yeah, or, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Just just people who have Facebook accounts that have expressed some interest in these things. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have these two uh, graphics. I'm not sure if you're showing them, but um, basically, uh, on the very conservative side, people that participate in these, you know, in that are interested in games and very conservative, they have a very clear. Uh, defined political ideology, like their most popular things that they like. They, um, you know, they like Ben Shapiro. They like the National Rifle Association, Stephen Crowder, George um, Bush, Tommy, Tommy Lauren, Lauren, yeah, Milo Yiannopoulos, Jesus, yeah, yeah. And then when you look on the left side, the very liberal gamers, um, it's very different. You don't see that kind of level of focus. Yeah, I might be a total idiot. I'm sorry, but I don't know yeah. who like who is Mike Epps or Teresia Henson or Boozy Badaj or Gucci Mane. Like... Well, Mike Epps is a comedian, I think. Okay. Um Taraj Henson's an actress. And then um Boozy Badass and Gucci <laughs> Gucci Mane are uh are rappers. Is Gucci Mane the guy that does the Gucci Gang Gucci Gang that song? I'm not sure honestly. Okay. All right. Okay. But, but not political yeah. figures. Bernie Sanders right. is on here. Um, right. If I'm being really generous, you could argue maybe the boondocks is kind of political. I don't know. But mostly it's like kind of like entertainment related stuff with Bernie Sanders right. being down there at the bottom. Um, right. so, so the conservative yeah. part, yeah, is very politically driven. So for people that don't know names, Ben Shapiro is a very big conservative Jewish figure. The NRA um, is the National Rifle Association, the, one of the largest individual lobbying groups in the U.S. It lobbies on behalf of firearms. Stephen Crowder is a huge fucking piece of shit, YouTube conservative dipshit. George W. Bush, ex-president of the United States, obviously. Tommy Lauren used to be affiliated with The Blaze. I believe she's no longer there. Glenn Beck's media group, massive conservative figure. Mitt Romney is an ex-Republican presidential candidate. And then Milo Yiannopoulos is the... Uh, fucking crazy Republican provocateur guy. So, yeah. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show you the um, most popular games among conservative Can gamers I ask real that quick, are conservative. Yeah. What, um, what are these numbers? Are these like, what are these numbers? Like Ben Shapiro 55. Oh yeah. So uh, some of the context is missing, but mm-hmm. we looked at 80 different of 80 different uh, interest groups. And uh, out of those 80, 55 of them, um, their one of their top likes was Ben Shapiro. Of the wait, I'm sorry. Could you say it one more time? Yeah. So we looked at uh, we collected data on about mm-hmm. 80 different um, you know affinity groups on Facebook that like certain games. Okay. So of those 80, 55 of them had Ben Shapiro as one of their top related pages among very conservative gamers. Top related pages among very so that means that most of the people in that community like that page, like over 50 percent, or right, right. Yeah, okay. it's the most the most common uh, things that they liked. Okay, gotcha. Like, I'm just trying top. to make sure that it's not there's not a chance that you had like 80 groups and in one of these and 55 of these groups, one person in each of these groups liked Ben Shapiro and that's why. It's oh no, no, it. yeah, it's the most common ones. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, so I sent you um, most favored games among conservative gamers. Gotcha. Yeah. So this is among the grouping of people that are um, 
that are either listed as very conservative or conservative, these are their favorite games. Mm -hmm. I fuck cancer. So, Shout for out example, to Battlefield's um, player base. You know, on, on Facebook, Battlefield has about two and a half million people that uh, are into the Battlefield franchise, and forty percent mm -hmm. of them uh, are conservative, which is the highest percentage of any game that we looked at. And then the rest of them are, are listed below that. Interesting. What is shooters? What does that mean? Is that just so that was just uh, the the classification of uh, first person shooters? Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So, so is there anything about these games that uh, to you that you see some kind of uh, commonality or, or um, do you have any reaction? To, for example, Battlefield has a big controversy going on right now about yeah. women being in the game. Uh -huh. um, so. To me, I'm, I'm not too surprised to see that, that, you know, they have the highest conservative percentage. Um, yeah, I kind of, I'm thinking of, like, confounds here. I guess, like, um, I think FPS games in general are more enjoyed by male people than, um, than female people. And I'm thinking that females probably have a higher chance of leaning left than males when it comes to these types of groups that play games. So what I'm really curious about is if you show me the... Um, most favored games among conservative uh, amongst liberal gamers if most of those are going to be like single player games rather than multiplayer games that's my curious that would be my guess um and i could be right for ro the wrong reasons or i could be wrong for different reasons too yeah, that's my guess yeah. all right well, let me uh let me send you that one so i'd expect to see things like maybe skyrim or other single player type games i, I kind of wonder if that would be <clears throat> so let's see amongst liberal people so we've got undertale Metroid Various? Is that like a single player game? Or Metroid Vanias. Metroid Vanias, oh sorry. Um Cuphead, NBA 2K and FIFA are both sports games. Sonic. Overwatch is a multiplayer online competitive game. Um Kingdom Hearts, Life is Strange, Terraria, Crashed, and then Dota's online competitive Final Fantasy. Okay. So games like liberal gamers, gotcha. Yeah. So I I don't know if you've seen the video that uh, Sean and Jen did about Cuphead uh, uh -huh. last year, but you know, they were saying that there was a lot of manufactured uh, outrage about that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's kind of supported by this, seeing that they have one of the most liberal player bases. Sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm going to send you... Do you have... Um, I'm very curious. I don't know if the state is already included. Amongst these breakdowns of conservative gamers and liberal gamers, do you have data on the gender breakdown of these two groups? Yeah, we do. We don't have a, a visual for a that visual? one yet, okay, but I, I can tell you. I can tell you some of that in a second. Okay, cool. All right, so I just sent over the moderate games. Um, so what's kind of interesting about the moderate games is that uh, there's a bunch of kind of open world games, exploration games, and games that have some kind of morality system, like uh, Fallout, Skyrim, Mass Effect. And to me, that, that kind of is emblematic of the neoliberal, like, centrist mentality of, you know, the ends justify the means and uh, making lots of decisions based on, like, oh, you know, not having, like, a hard and fast ideology, but kind of just being, like, either inflicting violence on people or doing, like, doing the right thing or, or both sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then apparently people that play hockey just don't give a fuck about politics. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Get the other two. Yeah, so um, I don't have the... Uh, I'll just send you the raw information on this, the gender breakdown. So these are the most... Um, these are by organized by percentage. These are the most masculine uh, game communities screenshot this so you can see uh, Kerbal Space Program <laughs> of the 80 games I looked at that's 99% uh, male and then a possible problem with this data um, I'm really anal when it comes to data shit, so I just yeah. Uh, so I'm no just giving problem. I'm not saying any of this is bad. I'm just these are the possible things, right? Yeah. Um, one second.
Um, I, I wonder if for, um, or something that, that I would be worried about is that um, maybe males are more likely to participate in certain types of online communities and maybe females are more likely to participate in other types of online communities. So like, let's say I make a game where you can create um, cool little art projects to put in like a house. Um, maybe this is 50-50, men and women both enjoy playing these games, but maybe women yep. are more interested in sharing their creations with other people. So in online communities, women are 90% of the representation or something. That would be something I would wonder. Not totally. to say that that necessarily happens, but I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, no, uh, a couple because of people brought up yeah. yeah, a couple of people brought up games to me that uh, I'd never even heard of, mm -hmm. and uh, I was like, "Oh!" And I looked them up, and they they're like ninety percent women. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the obvious so, takeaway from this, the very obvious one, is yeah. that men are just more interested in these types of games. I'm just thinking of possible ways where maybe that's not true, but I mean, it, yeah. that would be my intuitive. I would intuitively think that men are more into Kerbal Space Program, Major League Baseball, No Man's Sky, Metal Gear Solid. Like, that kind of makes sense to me. Um, okay, and then what? What is this other percentage thing? Is this for women? Yeah, it's for women. Okay. Are more interested in tile matching, so mobile games. That would be something I would expect. Um, yeah. Indie games, The Sims, casual games, video games, Undertale, Switch, Team Fortress 2. Yeah, okay. That RTS at 40 seems very high to me. That's interesting. But, um, okay. So yeah, so um, I mean, is there anything uh, that kind of jumps out to you about this? About um, yeah, contrapoints? I was tweeting the other day about how uh, you know they what in her experience she see when she talks to kind of young young men that are like mm -hmm. coming over from you know the side of being very conservative. Um, you know, they they talk about how game you know watching gaming videos about like from like h bomber and stuff like that help them kind of mm -hmm. see the light um so i mean what do you think about that like you know you're you're out in this you're out here every day uh in kind of these gaming slash political spaces so um yes yeah, so, i mean like the mindset for me in terms of like women um being in games is i was always under the impression that way more men have always enjoyed video games than way more women and i felt pretty strongly married to that point for a long time yeah. and then um, i had a conversation with a woman that disagreed with me on that and we started to go back and forth and you know we started to bring out data you know um and and it got to the point to where it seemed like my position was untenable it seemed rather than men played way more games than women played that the more likely alternative was that women played different types of games than men did mm -hmm. and women were less visible in communities than men were um, yep. e either that's true or all the data is lying in my point is right and so obviously I have to follow the data right um, these types of questions are so fucking complicated to, to ask and answer because your intuitions will fuck you so hard so it's really hard for me to, to get a grasp on this I have to only go by raw numbers right because most of us tend to stay with our own gender groups growing up especially when it comes to hobbies like video games so it's harder to see if other people are in interested in them but um, yeah, I just, I feel like there's, um, it's so hard because like, I mean, from my personal experience, it feels like, especially in competitive games, it feels like 95%, not even, like 98% of that field is, it feels like male to me, like very, 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 very male overrepresented. And then when you get into online communities, it feels like that's very heavily conservative driven, very heavily male driven, but mm -hmm. I, it's possible that women are represented in far greater numbers and less visible ways that I just can't see. You know, when I play normals in, in League of Legends, maybe there are a lot of women in there that I'm just not noticing, or maybe in online communities, maybe men are more predisposed to, to comment online than women are, or maybe men are more predisposed to taking place in those communities than women are but there are still a lot of women that play the games. It's really hard to, to know those answers. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I'm actually going to send you a different breakdown uh, right now. Uh-huh. I accidentally said Wait, hold on one second. One. Yeah. What? Oh, um, 2017? Ford Focus RS. Make sure to put the RS so they don't think I drive a cuck mobile. What? Oh, sorry. No offense. Okay, wait, what did you say? Yeah, so this is a, a different uh, way of looking at it too. Um, so this is by volume, uh, not just percentage. And so this is uh, the total number of women playing on these platforms or these games. And this is and based on participation in online Facebook communities, right? Yeah, or at least you know, engaging with content related to these topics. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So it's possible these numbers in reality could be higher or lower, but this is based on Facebook engagement. So going by that. Um, right. More women play PC than Xbox or PlayStation. 
I feel like where's mobile? Is mobile listed on this? You know, I didn't put uh, I didn't look up mobile for this. Probably should add that. Why did you want to delete Halo here? <laughs> Oh, you know what? I I looked. Um, I double checked all these numbers, and then I saw that there's a uh, there's a dog product called like the Halo, some corrective tool oh. or a thing that dogs can wear. So it was throwing the numbers off because gotcha. I was like, wow, that's a lot of women that like Halo. Okay, but, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I hate to say, it, but intuitively, these numbers look about right to me. Sure. Where's Overwatch at? I would imagine that should be somewhere on this list for a lot of women playing. Yeah, let me check that out. Yeah, Overwatch is about 20% uh, women playing, but I, I don't think their player base is uh, big enough to get them on this list. They're they're pretty close to being on. I think they have like... They oh, have because a little the si you're going by the number of women playing and how they get organized here, and there's like a lesser number. Right, right. right. Okay. Yeah, so Overwatch is like 20% women playing, but... Uh, and they have like half a million, close to half a million playing, but mm -hmm. they don't quite make this list. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, to me, like, I felt like this was also an uh, an honest way to look at it because, um, you know, a lot of I, I feel like I know a lot of I've I've run into women that play Call of Duty, and um, they're only eleven percent of the player base, but there's so many people that play Call of Duty that that's that's almost a million people. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm, my impression is that uh, if I were to expand the scope of this to mobile games, that um, that's where those, <laughs> you know, we're missing like we're that's missing a lot of people here. Yeah. yeah so and like I'd also take a guess yeah. when you when you're looking at like political affiliations, I would take a guess that people playing mobile games are far less likely to contribute to online community discussion they're far more casually engaged so that's mm -hmm. going to weigh the online discussions far more in a conservative sense right because all of your right. liberals are playing mobile games and aren't communicating online right yeah i would think too that um even though the, the number of people that play games is so so huge and it's uh mm -hmm. you know so female so liberal um you know, the, a lot of the, a lot of those a lot of those games aren't really games that inspire that kind of specific online discussion of that game, like mm -hmm. Clash of Clans or something like that. I'm not sure. How, I mean, I could be wrong. I, I know there is. No, I agree. Yeah, there's not going to be but, like a big online discussion. Yeah. Like, what is the Clash of Clans? Is the largest um, mobile game, right? I think it's yeah. I think it's. It, way up there for sure yeah. well i'm curious how many subs like the clash of yeah the clash of clans subreddit only has 137,000 subs which isn't horrible but i mean like considering how huge that game is i mean you would expect right. there to be a lot more um like for instance like destiny the game has 800,000 um, yeah. subs and i'm sure the player base on that game must be smaller than clash of clans yeah 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 another thing uh too is that for so looking within all these um, these community these interest groups based around games, uh, all but two of them are more liberal than the general population. Looking at what? Say that again. So I looked. So looking at all eighty games that I looked up here, uh -huh. um, seventy-eight of them are more liberal than the control group, the general population on Facebook. Okay. So I mean, I, I do think that there is some. I mean, there is something there about. Um, kind of the gamer stereotype that like oh like the people that are, that care about games online are you know more likely to be toxic and more likely you know to be conservative kind mm -hmm. of chuds, um, but it seems like you know they're more they're actually <laughs> they're actually more likely to be liberal um, than the general population. But I think Possibly. there's so, there's some yeah, but so, there's something about there's something about being in the game community that makes them uh, more vocal and. Uh, more focused. Yeah, so than, something that I would say is, is something that's very, very important to, to control for is that a lot of people are going to have Facebook accounts and that it's very easy to just become a community of a game that you play without really contributing much. It would be very interesting mm -hmm. to take a more critical look at, um, at things like Reddit 
where I feel like the people, and these are all feelings, I could be wrong, but I feel like yeah. if you're subscribed to a subreddit, your engagement with that community is going to be a lot higher than just somebody that has a Facebook account and happens to like a game, you know? So like if somebody, yeah. for instance, tells me like, oh, and again, like I don't, I don't associate with Facebook a lot, so I could be downplaying the significance of Facebook, but if somebody tells me like, oh yeah, you know, like I'm really into, um, I'm really into Call of Duty, you know, like I'm in the Facebook group, like nobody would care. Like people are like, okay, right. what does that mean? Like whatever. But if you're like, oh yeah, I'm subbed to the Blackout subreddit. Like I read all the posts or whatever. And it's like, oh shit, you're like a really big, you're really big into the community. And if you're reading like every post on that subreddit, that's, yeah, it's really big. So I feel like those people, um, it would be very interesting to get data on those people, especially yeah. because if you start to see huge discrepancies in that data, um, or if you don't, whether you do or you don't, that tells you a very interesting story too. Like, let's say you get a game that skews, um, or that doesn't skew, let's say you get a game that's 50% male, female, 50% conservative, liberal, and um, that's your, like, let's say that you're God and you know that those numbers are real. Let's say that you go into Facebook and then the numbers are, like, about the same. Then let's say you go to Reddit and you find that on Reddit, the fan base is, like, 75% male and then, like, 80% conservative. That's some interesting information right there. Well, maybe conservatives are more likely to engage on Reddit. Maybe men are more likely to engage on Reddit. You know, that, that kind of stuff. Is very, would be very interesting to me. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, and that's the thing too. Is like, what for makes, 2020. You know, I, I guess. Let's I guess talk what about the morality of communism instead of our oh, like, e female Do you have, do you have data on League of Legends? Uh, yeah. Let me see. Because here's something. Now again, these are holy shit. These are just polls. I'm again. I'm very anal when it comes to data. So like, um, none of this could be like, um. I'm not saying that this is like 100% verified or anything. Yeah. Hold on one second. Um, a Y A Y A. Apparently, this was a poll done of the League of Legends subreddit, and in this, um, it looks like almost 90% of the people here were, were identified as male. And Interesting. I don't know what your um, I don't know what your data said about the breakdown of male or female League of Legends players, but knowing that men are probably I think this is true. I feel like I've seen these numbers, but I, I should have them. But I feel like men, younger men, are more likely to slant conservative than younger women. I'm basing this largely off of the polling data I saw versus like Hillary and, and Trump. That more way more women came out for Hillary, even white women, than than Trump. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like if you get far fewer women in these communities and far more men, you're much more likely to see a far more conservative opinion as well, right? Oh, his data said 22% were women. Okay, so you're missing about half here um, that, that make it to the subreddit. And then I'm willing to bet that because there's such a minority here, there's probably even less that actively comment or post. So you might see an over, right? The, uh, and again, like, yeah, I, I keep saying this. I'm sorry, but like all of these are just possible things. I could be wrong about any of these things. Yeah. They're just um, right. things that I would keep in mind. Yeah. Yeah. You're polling 2.8 million people. The subreddit is polling 24,000 people. Um and then you've got 22% women, 78% men, and they came up with um, 70, or I'm sorry, 88% men, and mm. um, yeah, and then 12% women. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting to think about like what what does it mean uh, in terms of identity? Like, what does it mean to be a League of Legends fan or a League of Legends player? Mm -hmm. Um, or what does it mean to refer to these communities as well, right? If people say that gaming communities are, you know, f very liberal or more liberal than conservative and more, you know, more females than men play. But then when anytime you look at like gamer related stuff online, okay, so if that if I'm supposed to because this is like, it's very hard to have this conversation, right? Let's say that I'm supposed to believe that. But then I look at like the Battlefield 5 trailer. And I go and I see that this trailer, because it had a woman in it, you know, has 504,000 thumbs down and only 341k thumbs up. Like, okay, well, that's very strange if women are, and liberals are overrepresented. I guess they all hated the trailer too because it had, uh, yeah, again, I don't know. It's like, it's harder for me to buy that stuff, you know? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I feel like I feel like these numbers, uh, they're not so much prescriptive, but in context to themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, think, I think you can read a lot about, especially about the, the most conservative games. Yeah, for sure. Um, see, you could, yeah. Yeah. See, Seeing the battlefield as the highest concentration, like that kind of makes sense after given the controversy and everything. Yeah. Intuitively that feels correct. Yeah. Yeah. And seeing more like shooters up there for, for like the kind of like male thing, right? Battlefield T F two are the top or, or you know, the two highest, and then you've got Far Cry shooters, Red Redemption are like there. And then when you look at the um the more liberal side, you kind of see like the single player RPG games like I thought you'd see, you know, like the Undertale, the Cuphead, Sonic, stuff like that. Kingdom Hearts, Life is yeah. Strange to our yeah. What's well, twenty two on the conservative side? Uh, tile matching is like number three. <laughs> yeah, that's incorrect. Well, but that might 
Uh, dude, there's so many possible confounds. Like tile matching might actually make perfect sense. Um, if you can, can you break, do you have those numbers by age? Because I know that older people tend to slant conservative and it might be that older people also tend to play those types of like oh, tile exactly. games. Uh, yeah. That's what I would think too. And I would think too that tile matching, the tile matching population looks a lot like our general population, which mm -hmm. is pretty, you know, let me get that. I'll, I'll get that right now. And it might even be like, oh god, it's so all, all in, it's so unintuitive. But like you said, that tile matching looks like it matches the general population. It might actually be that tile matching skews left very hard. Maybe the tile matching people ma like match the general population, but maybe the age group of the tile matching people is like on average like sixty five, and maybe the the non general population, but the average sixty five year old leans very right. But in the tile matching community, it's fifty fifty. So even though it looks like it matches the general population population the age might have caused it to skew in one way and it actually is more left than it should be right yeah sorry it's like so much dumb shit <laughs> so that's the uh, the age breakdown of the tile matching population so yeah like it's mostly older older uh women stop reporting information from people on their facebook profiles information only available for people 18 and older oh it's far more women than men 83 percent women to 18 percent men that's very interesting with almost half of them being married, damn. Oh yeah, wait, I'm sorry, yeah, this skews super heavily. So 34 and under makes up about a quarter of this data and then 75% of it um, plus is made up of 35 and older. So this so, skew is very old, yeah. So now I'm just pulling the conservative and very conservative tile matching population. Mm -hmm. So here's here's what it looks like. So you can see it goes even further into the uh, the old direction, like sixty five plus. Sixty five plus here is like twenty six percent. Wait, wait. So the first uh, one you gave me was was all all people that like tile matching on Facebook. And, and then now, the second now, one is conservatives. No, yeah, conservative, very conservative. Okay, these are just conservative, very conservative. So. Yeah. Even the women here still tend to be very conservative, although the age starts to shift older, hardcore, which is something I would expect. Again, older people tend to be more conservative. Um, also um, tend to be less educated as well. Yeah, um, You get about a quarter drop off, 25% drop off in graduate school. And you get about a 10% drop off in college. Um, greater, yeah, okay, interesting. And this is the uh, liberal and very liberal tile matching population. So you can see it's a lot younger. Yep. Yeah, a lot younger, much higher level of college education, much higher level of grad school education. Um, and then much younger. Yeah, very interesting. God, this would be a nightmare to try to like draw. Con I would never do like data analysis. Drawing <laughs> conclusions from data is so fucking scary. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like uh, I just I just want to put it in context to itself and just see what the outliers are. Uh -huh. And I do not want to like draw any big big conclusions from it. But yeah. interesting. Yeah. I was actually I was trying to figure out why. Um, PUBG's uh, fan base is so much different from Fortnite. Um, oh, huge, huge deal. Fortnite is free to play. That's going to yeah. skew things dramatically. Um, I would imagine that Fortnite's fan base is going to be far younger. You know what? Let's look that up. Also, how old are you to have a Facebook account? How old do you have to be? Do you have to be 18? Um, I know, I know the advertising tools you can get, you can get down to thirteen. Um, okay. But for this, it, it's just from eighteen and up. Ah, okay, that'll mm, that hurts as well because I know there's a lot of Fortnite players that are under the age of eighteen. Right. Yeah, and also uh, from what I've been reading is that uh, teenagers don't even have Facebook anymore. Gotcha. It's not even so. Uh, this is all PUBG players. So I, I didn't. I have not looked. At, I haven't collected any of the age data on this stuff, but. Um, gotcha. Interesting. I'm going to compare this to Fortnite. Hold on one second. So. Um, I probably can in a minute or two. I'll have like five or ten minutes. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, this is for Fortnite? 
So that first one was uh, PUBG. The oh, the first one, one is PUBG. Okay, yeah, I was going to say yeah. this seems older than I um, anticipated it would be. But this is for... This first one is for PUBG, and then this is for Fortnite. Okay, yeah, yeah this is way more what I would expected. And I, I'm very curious. There's two things that I wonder that could be influencing this data to make it less accurate. Is one, how many of these 18 to 24s are under 18? And then two, how many of the under 18s would have Facebook but don't because they either can't get one or, yeah, that, that's yeah. very interested in that. Or because you can't collect data on those people or whatever. So, yeah, the Fortnite audience skews far, far, far lower. Um, also far more women play Fortnite than men as well, which is some, or then f more play Fortnite than, um, PUBG, which is something I would expect as well. Yeah. Now, um, did you, uh, I, I assume you saw what happened with Sonic Fox the other night when he, uh, accepted the award and yeah, the gay furry thing Interesting or monkey. Yeah, kind of had a big moment there. Mm -hmm. Um, so in this analysis, fighting games and Sonic seem to be uh, pretty beloved by very liberal people. Um, also, Street Fighter. Uh, so that kind of surprised me, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to, again, yeah. I'm going to try to make guesses. Like, I don't know yeah. if it's that surprising because I feel like fighting game community people are probably going to be far more overrepresented for minorities, so especially like black people, than other types of games. And I'm and minorities in the United States are tend to be also far more overrepresented in um in, in democratic elections are being liberal than white people mm -hmm. so that could actually be something again where it might actually be misleading where the general gamer population might show like a 20 20 20 20 breakdown but the um but in the fighting game community maybe 60 percent are liberals and 40 percent are conservatives so you might think well the fighting game community is actually quite liberal but in normal society um those same groups might be 90 percent liberal and 10 percent conservative so in actuality in the fighting game community they're more conservative than you would expect them to be even though they're still the majority is liberal does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, ca I'm catching up to what sorry. you said. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. It's a lot. Yeah. But like, say like, because I'm pretty sure black people voted in in the most recent election. I feel like it was a 90-10 split where 90% vote um, conservative, 10% vote liberal. So if you see a group where you see, oh, well, in this group, you know, the black people are 60% liberal, 40% conservative. And you're like, wow. So in the fighting game group, that's a very liberal group. Well, no, even though it's majority liberal, it's actually more conservative than you would expect it to be, even though the data makes it look like they're more liberal. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm actually, I'm, I am able to um, use, uh, it's called multicultural affinity. So I'm able to click on this one, and this is African Americans. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in the fighting game community, at least on Facebook, um, there's about three, three and a half million people. Um, and of those, I think- Wait, wait I'm sorry, give see. me one second. Hold on. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. so sorry. Wait, what's up? Ah, uh, fuck. Um, do you want to just talk to my audience for like ten minutes? <laughs> do you have my chat up? Hey, what's up? Uh, I, I ha apparently something came up with Rachel, and I have to go pick up Nathan from his thing. Oh, that's fine. Was, okay. You know, I I have every I have the quotes I need, so okay. I think this is good. Gotcha. So, thanks for doing this. I appreciate yeah, it. No problem. Thanks for having me on. Um, or right. thanks for coming on and chatting. I appreciate it, man. I'm sorry to cut you off so quick, but yeah. No, you're fine. Okay. Have a good night. Yep. Okay. Bye. Walk a little walk, small talk, big thoughts. Gonna tell them all just what I want. That street, two streets, I see you and me hanging on the empty swings.